Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you that these seven things make me a super confident person. That's right, if you know me, whether you know me in person or just through my videos, you know that I'm like unbelievably confident. Now people might think I'm cocky, but to be honest with you, I am definitely not because cocky people don't work as hard as me. Cocky people, in my opinion, are lazy. They think that they don't have to work. I work way harder than I have to and way harder than I should. And that's why I think I'm just extremely confident. But these are seven of the top things that make me super confident. Let's get right into this. I'm gonna go through these rather quickly. So pay attention and take notes if you wanna sort of replicate the confidence that I've built for myself over the years. Number one is my loud voice. Now, obviously, I, I was blessed to have a very loud voice, but I have, you know, I project my voice even more so. So I already have a loud voice. But when I do something that I'm passionate about, like making content, I'm even louder. Okay, so as you can see, I'm unbelievably loud. It's just the way that I am. My loud voice makes me confident because I know I'm being heard. I always say to people, don't pretend you don't hear me because I know if I'm talking, you can hear me. That's how loud my voice is. Okay, so anyone that pretends they're not hearing me, I'm like, listen, I know you can hear me. People down the street can hear me. People buildings away can hear me. Very simple, okay? So my loud voice. Number two, losing my hair at a young age. You know, part of me wishes that I had hair, of course, but part of me is super grateful that I sort of started balding. I sort of started balding and getting male pattern baldness at a very young age. At like 19, I could already see that my hair was thinning. By like 21, 22, I was already basically shaving my head or going to number zero on the trimmer, which is almost shaving, okay? It's like stubble, okay? So losing my hair at a young age, I had to be confident or else, you know, I might as well just tap out at that point. I had to be confident. I had no choice, okay? Number three, I have extremely supportive parents. I, my parents are unbelievably supportive. Growing up, they basically just, whatever I, I wanted to try out, they supported me in any way that they could. And most of the time, that was just emotional support. They're like, listen, Mike, you can do it. Try your hardest. If you don't like it, move on and try something else. Unbelievably supportive parents. They might be able to hear this right now because I'm filming this right now in my parents' basement. I'm actually on my lunch break at work um, and my parents live nearby where I work. So I come to their house and I use their basement sometimes to film it. This is the music room. This is where I learned how to play the drums all these years and stuff. And yeah, very cool. But my parents are like literally like the most supportive people that you can imagine emotionally supportive like like no other it's unbelievable they're amazing okay number four and i can attribute a lot of my confidence to them just being there to push me and along the way and be supportive number four i have a wife and four kids that need me to be confident i i cannot be a good husband and be a good father if i'm lacking confidence okay obviously i can be emotionally vulnerable that's totally different i have days where i'm anxious i have days where i'm worried i have days where i'm angered i have days where i feel down of course but that doesn't change the fact that I'm confident by nature, right? So I have a wife and four young kids and, and they all, my family needs me to be confident. I also have many nieces and nephews. I have two sisters, two brother-in-laws. I just, you know, everybody needs me to be confident. I have to be confident. It's that simple. Number five, okay, super confident for that, mat for, for that matter of fact. Number five, I have an insane track record of accomplishments. I literally... As I think back right now, I literally cannot think of a single thing that I put my heart into that I didn't accomplish. Some things I tried, I'm like, that's yeah, not for me, so I stopped and I didn't bother trying to accomplish them fully. But honestly, everything that I tried and I put my heart into it and I put my full effort forth, I, I did it. I won. So like literally, like my track record is unbelievable that I, I literally know if I pour my heart into something... 100% guarantee I'm going to do it. It's going to, I'm going to win. I'm going to accomplish it. My track record is literally 100% of what I try, I get done. So, you know, that's going to build confidence. Of course, it's going to. Number six, and I have my notes over here, so I'm just going to take a glance because my, my writing got a little smaller. I was running out of space on my paper. I have show notes for every single video that I do. Some of them are in-depth. Some of them are a couple of lines, but I have literally notes for every single video I've done. It's crazy, I know, but it's what I do to stay on track. Number six is I'm unbelievably resourceful. So literally, as you've seen through the videos I posted, I, I post videos about anything in the sense that I can pick something up and I can turn it into like 20, 30 videos. Like this symbol right here, I can turn this into at least five videos with just this symbol alone. The drum set, another 20, 30 videos for sure. The speakers over there, another 10 videos. Like I'm resourceful. I can make use of anything. You know, before when my wife and I first got our house, you know, the budget was very, very slim because we were just new homeowners. We were young. I wasn't making, you know, like a lot of money. Um, you know, I was making a, a good amount, but like not anything where I could like, woo, it wasn't anything like that. Um, now I am, but before I wasn't. 
And, uh, you know, I, I was extremely resourceful in the sense that I would go around and I would find people's garbage and I would take the wood, take it apart and I would use the wood for projects. So literally like our budget for, for our first renovations, I did them myself. That's how I started this channel really was like so slim, but it worked so well, right? Like we, we built a crazy house where I renovated the entire house on a super slim budget. So I'm resourceful. Of course, that's going to make me confident. Last but not least, number seven. Okay. Number seven, um, is that I constantly try and look like I have less than I actually have. What that means is that if I have this much, I only want people to think I have this much. That's why I dress still kind of like a slob, like, you know, $10 t-shirts all the time, ripped jeans constantly. I got holes in my socks. Before, you know, I, I'll wear them 10 times with holes in them before I decide, okay, I'm going to throw them out. It's just, you know, obviously I'm cheap. I'm frugal. It's how I was raised. But other than that, I mean, I just, you know, like I like knowing that you think I have this, but I know I have this. And that builds confidence because whatever people think of you, you know you're a lot more. People think I'm like some just, you know, some guy who just, you know, oh, the, like even people who know me pretty well, like, oh, he just makes videos for fun. Yeah, okay, nice try. Huh? They have no idea the caliber of the content that I create and what it does for me and my family. So anyways, at the end of the day, um, you know, those are the seven things that make me a super confident person. Is that going to work for everybody? Not necessarily, but can you take away one or two? Of course you can, at least one or two things and apply them to your own life to hopefully build up your confidence as well. And that's it. You can be a super confidante as well. If you like this video slash, this video tutorial explanation, whatever you want to call it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.